Okay naman ito ganina lies. Nakas show na kaganina. Okay na ito ganina lies ah. Isa na lang daw mag-share, sir. Sina? Si? Iti siya, sir. Ah, sige daw. Nag-connect pa daw siya sa wifi, sir. Okay, sige. Si Kinsa mag-share screen. Si Kisha, wait lang daw. Ah, okay. Pwede na sa dakula lang. Oh, pwede man. Ikaw na lang. Sige, sige, wait. Yes, eh, rotate mong phone para mo dako siya, anana. Thank you, Kate. Okay, go.
So good afternoon, sir and classmates. So we are the group seven, and we are tasked to discuss about global civil society. Globalization links distance. I play go next. Nine so many. No, I lost you, Mom Punker. I neglected you, Mom signal. Ah. So good. Sige, dira lang sa nga slide. Okay. So globalization links distance communities and open up spaces for new social actors so globalization is a process by which the world is becoming increasingly interconnected as a result of massively increased trade and cultural exchange so through globalization we can we can trade our products and services to other countries and so the other countries can also import their products to our country and because of globalization production of goods and services increased so among the non-state actors benefiting from this change are public interest oriented non-governmental actors often called as civil society groups so next slide please So what is civil society? Civil society is a space outside of government, family, and market. So sa giingon pa ni Sir Ganina, dili ni siya part sa, dili ni siya, in, dili involve ang government ani, ang family or market. Civil society organization has its common interest in in solving global issues such as you know, poverty, climate change, so mga ing ana. So so civil society organizations include community groups, non governmental organizations, social movements, labor unions, indigenous groups, charitable organizations faith-based organizations, media operators, diaspora, and etc. So, ang civil society organization is daghan niya, gikompose siya og mga daghan nga groups. Example is community groups, mga non-governmental organizations, which has a same kaning goal sa lo, kanayang naay goal nga mag 
jobs, isa ka global issues. Then, civil society have also been involved in the implementation and monitoring of number of crucial issues. So, muni siya ang kining, sila ang mag-monitor, sila ang mag-implement og mga Og sila ang mag kaning kumpila ka buk un, 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 na ang mga global issues sa 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 mga nasod ana din this range from the trade to development poverty reduction from democratic governance to human rights from peace to the govern environment and from security to the information society then next slide please So there are three theoretical perspectives that can be used to interpret um, global civil society. So for for so for liberals, liberals may understand global civil society as the actor that provides a bottom-up contribution to the effectiveness and legitimacy of international system. So sila ang, para sa liberalism nga perspective is, ang global civil society is mag-provide a bottom-up contribution to the effectiveness and legitimacy of international system. And for realism, Realists may interpret um, global civil society as a tool used by most powerful state to advance their ultimate interest abroad. So, par sa, sa realis, realist perspective, ang purpose daw sa global civil society is gamiton sa mga powerful na state para mo advance ilang interest abroad. Para mas para ma promote o ma-popularize ilang ideas sa ilaha lang national interest sa mga powerful nga countries. And then for Marxist, Marxist may see global civil society as political vanguards that can spread a different worldview that challenges the dominant order. So next slide please. Next, Pagyad. Last. Ah, Conditions for transnational activism. So the activism of global civil society groups has been facilitated by a number of specific conditions. So first, a number of international organizations have been supported the inclusion of civil society actors within international decision making. So, ang tayo bus pasabot ani. So, ang civil society actors is involved sila sa mga international decision making na ilahang mga ginadawat sa sa ang ilahang opinion is accepted sa pag pagmuhat og mga decision para sa ika bubuti ng koan para mo for the betterment of everyone so kina so ang, ang civil society is na kaning um, importante ang ilahang decision making ilahang importante ang ilahang um, opinion about any i mean so Example is the 1992 UN Earth Summit in Rio de Janeiro. So what happened in in this Earth Summit is that the non-governmental organizations who presented their own vision for the world's future in relation to environment and socio-economic development. So di ba, kining, importante ang civil society actors in international decision making because kining ginakuha ni ginakuha sa mga different organizations ang mga opinions para mas para mas makabuhat sila og mas effective nga solution sa ingana nga problem or example is the environmental problem then second is 
the state's priorities for the allocation of resources change in 1980s and 1990s due to the trend towards the privatization of industries. It is common to see state-owned enterprises being sold to the private companies. Because of that, many Western nations, the state's overall role in public affair was reduced. And because of it, civil society organizations were able to subcontract many functions from the state and take up new roles as service providers. So the third condition is, um, please go next. The third condition is globalization process has generated a sense of common purpose among civil actors. And the last is, through internet, groups from different parts of the world have been able to familiarize themselves with other political realities. So, dili lang mga non-governmental organizations ang involved, ang, ang, in, ang mga include sa civil society. So, apil gapon ana ang mga ang mga media. So, because of internet, mas na-familiarize sa mga sa mga every groups kung unsa ilahang mga unsa interest nila, unsa ilahang mga gusto nga masolve, unsa ilahang gusto nga ma mabal-an, unsa ilang mga gusto nga masolve nga mga global issues, so ing ana. So in this way, they have been So in this way, they have been able to increase their political know-how and their ability to join forces in addressing common targets. So because na sila mga common interests, na sila pari-pariha nga mga gusto nga mahitabo, na sila gusto nga masolve, so mas mafamiliarize nila on sa ilaha mga targets, on sa on nila pag-achieve ani nga, ani nga problema. So... Transnational network means are defined as a permanent coordination between different so civil society organizations located in different countries, collectively focused in specific global issues. So, transnational network is a group or mura siya o ganang i-compose og mga different civil societies sa lahi-lahi nga countries which has or mag-focus sila sa isa ka global issue. So, by forming the transnational network, civil society organizations have used their leverage in the, at the international level. So, next slide, please. So, example is the Jubilee 2000 campaign. So, unsa may nahitabo aning unsa may nahitabo sa Jubilee 2000 campaign? So, what happened here is nagtipok-tipok ang mga religious organizations because gusto nila nga ang katong mga 29 countries from Afghanistan to Zimbabwe, which is, is si, kanina mga countries, ang 29 countries is considered the world world's poorest na sila utang sa mga foreign, mga katong mga developing countries, na sila utang nga 17 billion US dollars sa and then, ang, ang gina-advocate sa mga religious organization is i-cancel ang debt ilang utang sa kuan, o oh, nandiri di, di na, di nga koan to induce the creditor government and the international monetary fund kanang mga ilahang gusto nila nga i-cancel ang katong mga katong utang sa mga pobre nga mga countries sa mga katong ilahang nautangan nga mga koan mga foreign nga mga nasod then the campaign to land the next is the campaign to ban land mines land mines which led to the Intergovernmental Conference in Ottawa where mine banned 
treaty was signed. So because of the campaign, ngay nabuhat nga mine band treaty nga i-cancel na ang pag mine sa mga koan. So when nahitabo ni siya last 1997. So daghan pa og mga ongoing campaigns such as mobilization on environmental justice gender recognition, LGBT right, rights, which is very common, and then food and secret security. So that's it. Next. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, classmates. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Global civil society as a response to trans transnational exclusion. So in today's complex world, traditional institutions have struggled to provide effective and legitimate responses to global issues. So on so many global issues, so along the lines of climate change, financial instability, disease epidemic, intercultural violence, and global inequalities are the global issues that they are struggled to provide effective and legitimate responses and civil society action at the international level is predominantly focused on building political framework with embedded democratic accountability so ang civil society action at the international level is kadaghanan ani nila is nakafocus sila sa pagtukod sa mga kuan gambalay sa politika nga naay sulod nga kapangakuhan sa ano demokratiko so, as a response to the shortcomings, forms of so-called multi-level stakeholder government governance have been established that involve the involve na involve po dere ang ano public and private actors. So sa karon ng kadaghanan sa mga global governance bodies kay gasapers sa mga kakulangon sa accountability accountability deficit. So sa ato pa, they lack the traditional formal mechanism of democratic accountability that are found in states. So unsa man ni sila, so such as popularly elected leaders, parliamentary oversight, and non-partisan courts. So instead, ang executive council of government, regulatory bodies are mainly composed of bureaucrats who nga layo kayo sa, who are far removed from the situation that are directly affected by the decision they take. And so, ang mga tao din sa, in, sa mga tao in peripheral geographic area, areas and in marginalized section of society are especially deprived of recognition. Ilang mga voice, ang influence in most contexts of global governments as it is currently practiced. So, depiction of such an international system is but describe me siya or i-character as or makaracterize as or makaracterize sila by transnational inclusion so in recent decades most global regularly bodies have begun to develop closer relation with civil society organization precisely in order to fill this legitimacy gap so in recent decades gadahanan sa mga global regularly bodies kay nagsugod sa nagsugod sila og pagbuhat og mga kuan grabe ka suod nga mga relations sa mga civil society organization aron mapuno ni siya nga legitimacy gap so while i for example ani is the committee on world food security within the UN food and agriculture organization has reserves reserve seats for different types of organization so, sa mani silang mga organization, so, na-include diri ang non-governmental organization and social movement. Social movement, research centers, financial institution, private sectors, association, and private philanthropic foundation. So, while the rule of, so, while the rule of civil society organization in this context is predominantly based on consultative status, they allow the civil society organization to have a seat at the table. So there is ginatugutan nila ang mga civil society organization no, nga maka-appeal ani nga mga ku 
kuan yes makaapil ani nga mga or kaning mga kalihukan so given their need to balance a deeper impact on society with greater legitimacy global governance institu- institution have been under pressure to be more exclusive and attentive to political demands coming from below so thanks to such dynamics no kay mga civil society actors kay ma-manage sila to ay civil society actors have managed to increase their access to international agenda settings, ilang mga decision making, monitoring and, impl- and implementation in relation to global issues. So at the same time, next slide get this. So at the same time, the challenge to the inclusion of civil society actors in global governance mechanism remains significant. Nganong significant man ka siya? So the particular reason for circumstance kay new inter- institutional structures are continually emerging and and the challenge in terms of integration is therefore endlessly renewed and also new institutional filters are created and civil society actors have to constantly refocus and adapt to new circumstances so an example ani is provided by the announcement in 2009 that the main economic council of Philippine nation would shift from the G8 to the G20 format. So the G20 meets annually and it's composed of a composed of 19 states plus the European Union. Together, any its member account for roughly 80% of the world's trade. In this instance, civil society activists have been lagging behind. Activism around G8 was intense, but the meetings of the G20 have only recently attracted a similar level of attention. So that's it. Next. So next is values promotion and creating change. So at the core of dynamics leading to the emergence of transnational activism is the perception that that would be a possibility of change in the area of one specific uh, global issue. So civil society organization should be viewed not only as um, uh, traditional problem solvers, like facing a new problematic issue on the international agenda, but actually uh, uh, the key feature of transnational activism is like precisely stubborn to attempt the influence on normative battle on the right and legitimate. So there are two elements of mobilization that would be conceptualization and political commitment. So transnational mobilization and global issues should be interpreted as the result of several several steps. So there would be a crucial challenge for any transactional network that is present to issue at stake. So para makita nato ang like result na siya ay uh, para masabtan sa nato ang 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 global issue is we need to follow some several steps so like sa una the, uh, the case of feminism so through the action of a number of feminist movements beginning with the suffragettes in the late 19th century so deba before is Ang ang kwanjo dato sa women is dapat sa balay lang or wala kayo sila rights nga mag But then lately, as time goes by, the traditional role of women was challenged and eventually replaced by a new egalitarian position entitling women to have equal rights sa ato ang society. So the first step in cross border mobilization is the production of knowledge and creation of frames. So, kinahalan sa nato siya i-analyze kay para makabalo taon sa on pag correctly interpret sa issue. So, the second step is the external dissemination and strategic use of such knowledge. Next slide, Sat, please. Next slide. Thank you. Then, yeah, uh, the second step consists of external dissemination and strategic use of knowledge. 
So, muna siyang crucial, crucial stage because at this point, there would be if information that acquires fully dimension and therefore political significance. So, ang public opinion is kailangan siya ma-attract and kana makapture siya for framing the terms of the conflict in such a way that the issue at stake uh, becomes the focus of a general interest requiring public engagement. So there would be a dissemination often passes through scientific channels. So um, the networks, anong channels, uh, they become active players in the communities uh, on the experts of global issue. So um, after that is the second, uh, the in order to make a change, third step is necessary. So it consists in gaining a recognized role in the public sphere. So transnational networks need to offer a response that enables them to claim representation of interests that are wider than just of those small groups. So on trans transnational network, mag succeed sa uh pag face the steps and challenges that is associated to a particular global issue political opportunity for mobilizing and network building arises so more than na uh, create nag change since um ato naman na analyze ang mga issues na face and then national conditions play an important role in the rise of uh global movements and transnational networks can therefore be understood as organizational responses to the new global social political environment uh, in which political international relations opportunities on the one hand. So, one uh, koan values change and uh, values promotion and creating change. Who's next? It's Isonod. Ako, sir. Okay, continue. Well, it is clear that civil society organization cannot aim at replacing the traditional channels of political representation. It is recognized that they often play a key role in broadcasting. Okay. True broadcasting man kay mabal anato unsa ilang gusto is solve nga kuan nga problem. From the activist perspective, the issue of political representation should not be interpreted as a matter of who they represent, but rather what they aim to represent. So, dapat dili nila i, i, i interpret rang kung uns, kung un, kung kinsa sila nga kuan nga organization, organization dapat kung unsa gyud ilang gusto i represent kay it's all about the issue and values man nga gusto nila is solve is solve para sa whole civil society organization usually claim to advance the public interest so aya sila magkuanana nga opinion balag dili klaro kung unsa na nga public interest tungod sa nakadaghan na global issue like climate change Eh, dapat gud kay magset sila kung para ba na sa public good ug unsay kung effective ba na siya to explore the issue of legitimacy we can look at the two extremes of the civil society spectrum the divide between mainstream politics and the radical group at one extreme there are the civil society organization that one established by the government and international organization. Ang radical group, at one extreme, we find, we find civil society organization that are considered criminal, such as terrorist groups and mafia organization. So they are the example of full integration into and full ex exclusion of political system.
The case of the moratorium on the death penalty. Moratorium is a suspension of in until further consideration warrants lifting the suspension, such as if and when the issues that the moratorium so, so it is all understood. Um, first, now the case of the moratorium on the death penalty. It is all about the suspension of the death penalty. Death penalty human rights violation. Abolition the death penalty is a key aspiration of human rights activism. So one of the driving force of the human rights uh, human rights activism is to eliminate death penalty. The international holds that the death penalty breaches human rights, in particular the right to life and the right to live from torture or cruel in human or degrading treatment or so. Amnesty International is one of the biggest, biggest or um organization that whose concern is of human rights. Next slide, Kate. The society organization played a central role as either real based frame creators or emotional based narrative disseminators. So the civil society organization, like specifically the the right to the the right to life, and the, and using powerful narratives from the in, emotion, I from the individual cases. So more ilang technique para ma dog nila ang moratorium sa death penalty. They play an important role as an alternative and or adjunct to deploy a clear and lasting impact at the international level. Since some of organization kay may, may involved na sila sa decision making so, na po sila sa diplomatic politics. Next slide, Kit. <clears throat> so the seventh general assembly resolution calling for a moratorium on executive adopted since 2007 demonstrates global consensus against the death penalty na achieve nila ang growing global consensus through transnational via civil society organized working sharing resources and ideas however many people in asia are still being posted to the penalty receive of canning death row. At the end of 2019, at least 26,604 26, people were languishing on death row. 2019, Pakistan had one of the world's largest non-death row population, Bangladesh, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Sri Lanka also have starring numbers of people. There are reportedly 50 people on death row how, who have exhausted all appeals. Next slide. So, money shocking sa moratorium on the use of death penalty na ay 120 countries na nag-vote para sa moratorium and na ay nag-39 countries nag-vote na no and kanina 39 countries is more on Asia. Tapos na up 24 na abstain. Next slide. Over recent decades, civil society activities have been responsible for a number of important contributions. Two kinds impact can be identified in the first instance civil society organization have managed to influence political decision makers by giving voice to voiceless and same new age have managed to pressurize global governance institutions so that today the overall level of transparency so the impact of civil society organization 
sa sa ato uh, kay dagan sila na kundi ba nagtabang din kay pang nasya dagan sila na influensahan pat, pati sa example sa death penalty na na sa kasi nila ug ning laboratory ang mati Western civil society organization will have to share the stage with civil society organizations from the developing world. Mostly ang organization, ang civilization kay mostly good kay nasa Western. So, kailangan nila na ang at developing area of nasa Western, kailangan nila mag pareho na mangyapon sila na sila gina focus na goal para sa better future sa global. Are you then? <clears throat> yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Questions? Clarifications? Nah. I will show you a ano ha, a window. Makita ninyo ni ang window. Let me share. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Makita na yung diagram. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. You know, this topic is a very important topic now because many, not many, but some some people or group of people do not give um, so much emphasis or importance on the uh, significance of uh, civil society organizations. Um, in globe, in a society, we are somehow divided into, of course, sectors. Okay? The first part here is, of course, the public sector. Um, of course, this sector is um, functioned by our government, okay? controlled by uh, government through the, they were able to operate through um, what we called as um, by virtue of uh, taxes that they collect from its citizens and then another sector uh, is of our society is of course the private sector okay they are of course another driving force of our economy right and then another part of our society are civil society organizations but the kind of um civil society organizations that we are talking in this um report or in this chapter are global civil society organizations as what the reporter said a while ago they have a huge um, impact because uh, they serve as lobbyist what's an lobbyist okay funny you can stop what's an big lobby okay lobbyist they are uh, in other way around they call themselves as interests group meaning you you bring the voice of uh, ordinary citizen ordinary individual so that they will be heard in a large scale scenario or setting or in the global setting Okay, and then 
aside from those mentioned by the reporter, can you cite uh, another uh, global civil society organization that we usually encounter? Okay, okay. in the previous report, at among identify no kung or, or, kung ba siya, governmental organization ba siya? Like, for example, the United Nations, ASEAN, APEC, kani sila. Ano kitawag sila ng government international governmental organization it is because the the members of these international organizations are governments coming from uh, different states main states so like for example in ASEAN the 10 member countries but for um civil society organizations this the members are not uh directly involved in the government but rather they lobby to the government what the government should do for the benefit of the people somehow in Asia, they promote democracy they promote women's rights or karon lgbt rights they are considered as lobbyists or interest groups na sila pinaglalaban ba kung sa ato pang ano na sila pinaglalaban pinaghuhugutan na mga interests that is why they lobby to the government para ma-realize ang ilahang mga different uh, sentiments. Um, <clears throat> they are very crucial because they serves as the um, lobbyist towards decision makers. Okay? So my good decide, of course, the, the, in the public sector, it's the government that will decide. Another... Um, how did they able to um, help you, mga ordinary citizens? In your own community, na ba may na-observe na mga civil organization na nakatabang yun? O unsa, in what way? Be? Nga year? Somebody from the class? Na-observe niyo. They are not connected with the government, but they are helping the the people and sa inyo nakita karon in this time of pandemic daghan daghan mga civil society organization nga gatabang in different ways in many ways di ba yes uh when it pantres Jackie love <clears throat> hello sir mhm mm Ayos, so, ang ako nabantay sa community so is kanang pagtukod with og pantry mm -hmm. na makatabang siya sa community nga sa so, muta karon sa tong one nga pandemic wa kay trabaho ina ng pantry murag nakatabang siya sa tao even do nga di siya dinagko pero at least nga makasustain sir Okay that's yeah. that's good no okay. that's all. but of course uh your community pantry are considered as ano uh, loose loose siya tungod kay dili kay siya structured kumbaga loose siya ng organization or in fact kay kanung loose man kay ayha ra man siya na form karon okay di ba dili siya structured in a sense nga uh, nagud siya mga officers nagud siya na siya bylaws etc ina na but how about kanang structured good nga in organization? Na ba? Na observe niya sa inyo. Yes, uh, free eh? Ko answer kanang curfew. Kanang bisag mga 9:30 pa kay kanang gatuig-tuig na kita mga police officers ug mga ta barangay tanod diri sa amo um, kay kanang i-check if napabay ka gawas-gawas dayon kana po sa pag-follow sa pag Face mask for minty, sir. Uh, that, that, that is, ano, um, kaning itawag ani, uh, law enforcement, di ba? Pag follow sa rules sila. But uh, the law enforcers are part of the government, okay? They are not, ano, civil society organization. They are not part of a civil society, okay? Kung police, they are part of the public sector, okay? Mga uniform personnel, okay? Part na sila sa... So, maning akong gusto ipakita sa inyo, dapat aware mo, unsang difference? Akong otrohan to, akong share kagayin, ha? 
Makita ninyo? Again? Makita ninyo? Yes, Wala. sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Ang public sector, separate yun siya sa private sector. O separate po ang civil society organizations. Diba? Maring gusto na ko i-emphasize that you must be able how to kumbaga, identify kinsa na may appeal sa public sector, kinsa na may appeal sa private sector, o kinsa na may ga-form sa civil society organization. Of course, kani sila, mga tao, gid ni silang tulo. Pero lailahe ang ilang function, lailahe ang ilang interests, lailahe ang ang ilahang mga gusto, kumbaga, mga interests. Pero kaning civil society organization, they are not part of the public sector, meaning they are not part of the government, that they lobby in the government. Okay? They are not part of the private sector, but somehow they also lobby in the private sector na mapush ang ilahang mga gusto. I'll give you an example. No? Uh, I will stop sharing this one. Wala na, wala na ang chair. Nako, ipakita sa inyo na image. Makita ninyo? Makita niyo yung image? Yes, sir. Ang symbolize honey? Ang saan ka-symbolize? Ha? Makita niyo? Medical. 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 Red cross. Medical. Red cross. Red cross, sir. Okay, correct. You're correct on that. Correct. Red cross na siya, di ba? Is Red cross part of the government? Yes. Wait lang, ha? Wait. Wait, excuse me. Ah, uh, go, uh, let's go back to my question. Is Red Cross part of the government? Who says yes? Private sector, private sector. Kisay naging yun kagay na ng purchase sa government. Na, akin siya gingon nga private sector siya. Opo, sir. Ikaw nga naman, Jalil. Kung ano, sir, lahi ang diba na may mga hospital, sir, pero ang kuwan mga good sir is ang hospital is naman gapos, bilo mga gina-strapan, sir, sa government. But Red Cross, sir, is something nga namurag, kuwan sila lahi lang tumong ang lahi. Lahi lang tumong, sir, sa kuwan, sir, sa lain. Na sila yung buong man, na gold, sir. Kung sa ilang tumong? Sa such as katong kuwan, sir, katong bloodletting, ano, sir. Mm -hmm. Sa so, pa? Uh, They provide assistance, di ba? Ah, yeah, free, ah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, kuwan, sir. Thank you, Janil. Uh, sakto si, yeah, sir, nga dili. <coughs> Apil sa government agency ang Red Cross because uh, sa kunabalan kay garilay sila sa mga donations sa money o sa blood na gagamitin nila o tabang sa atang community. Correct. Di ba? So, they are not collecting taxes unlike the government. Di ba? They are they are helping the society in bringing assistance in times of need. Like for, not only during the pandemic nga itong experience karon, but in typhoons, okay? If there is a war, the Red Cross are there to serve as a volunteer group, diba? but they are not the government. But if you observe in the country, they have a very kumbaga, uh, huge part in the Philippine, in the Philippines. Dako ilang ginatabang, di ba? Kitsa na may natabangan sa Red Cross diri. Ba, Mr. Di ba? Kusad. Oh, daghan. Di ba? But they are not the government. They are not connected in the government. If you observe in the news, okay? Uh, 
na asila ah, ginatabangan may um, may nanglag dugo di ba assistance gihatag sila magpa swab test magpa rpt cr nga swab test na na sila in fact they are the government is paying them di ba inana but of course they are they are not part of the government but they lobby okay na si mga lobbyist mga interest group na sila and it is considered also as an international global society. Okay, dili naman siya dili sa Philippines. Ang iyahang scope worldwide kung baga. Pero pag mayroon kag UN, ASEAN, of course, that is a uh, governmental no organization. Okay. How about um, International Labor Organization, ILO? Okay. ILO. Ako ang i-share sa inyo ay ang symbol. Ayan. Kita ninyo? Yes, sir. Makita? Yeah. Yes, sir. Pag... This is another example of... Um, civil society organization another one uh, okay see how about this one kita Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. By looking at the symbol itself, what do you think is the interests that they are, ano? Uh, what is about nature, sir? About like preservation of our natural resources. Ah, that's correct. Ping ano man. Why do you okay, think so? Sa iyahang ko answer, or logo niya, mm -hmm. the social ko an. That's correct, no? So... <laughs> That's correct, no? So, the uh, green piece is an, uh, an example of a civil society, international civil society organization that promotes the interests of um, sustainable environment. Okay. And not only environment, Look, na kayo na ang current scope sa uh, Greenpeace, uh, including mga rights of animals, etc. Na na ilan ang gina sila ang gedusu ana sa international uh, community. Niya. Of course, we need to protect our environment, etc. So dagan kayo, okay? dagan kayo mga inter in terms of ILO or International Labor Organization. Of course, they promote the interests of um, workers, example, migrant workers, etc. Okay, so inana again, basam kadong ugay mo og interna, uh, international civil society, they're lobbyists, they are, they are promoting interests of group of individuals towards the international community, towards the, in, uh, the government, etc. Okay, questions. None so far, sir. None, sir. Okay. Nasabtan lang ang ilahang report. Yes, sir. Okay. So, doon na lang yun. Doon na lang ka topic. Then, I will give you your final output na dayon. Then, we are done with the semester na dayon. Um, maybe tomorrow, group 8. It's in group eight, Gary. Next group. Sila Ronnie, Ronnie si sir. Ro uh oh, wala si Ronnie. Hinay daw yung signal, sir. Dito siya kasulod. Ay, Anali, ina na lang siya. Tomorrow sila. Okay, sir. Same time lang yapunta tomorrow and I will just post the, the link. 
here in our in our Facebook group. Okay. Okay, sir. Then Thursday ke holiday mong magpista si Mandol sa Thursday no. So dili sa ta magmeet sa Thursday siguro. Or unsa man mag overtime just Thursday. Para o man da yun ta. Okay, pag Friday dili ko pwede pag Friday ke na mi meeting sa school. I uh, will just decide tomorrow kung on sa ang uh, ang pleasure sa body. We can have uh, one one hour anyway one hour or less than one hour of uh, meeting. Then I can give you your ano na yan, final exam and then your final output your term paper. Na na. Ang yung supposedly I'll give you your midterm exam but sa finals na lang. Tanan nga, tanan nga report, uh, I will give, get, I, I will get questions coming from all the reports. And then, of course, your final output will be a paper. <clears throat> I, will, I will just post it in our uh, Facebook page. And of course, I will give you enough time to answer it. Uh, up to the, ano, siguro mga last week of the month. Ina na. Well, ano yung gusulod si Prince Salinas, no? How about in your other classes? Gusulod siya? Wala, Japan, sir. Wala, Japan. Kisa si Prince Salinas? Wala, wala na siguro ni siya. Si Leogin, ha? Si Leogin. Drop na? There's Leo Vincent. I'm going to go to the internet. No, I don't know. Okay. No, I don't know. Okay. So, okay. Uh, yes, um, Jacob, you have a question? What's that? Hey, so, I have a question. 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 I have a Ang dean's list, tulad rin ba ko yung kondoy? Wala ko yung idea ang nagatag ba sila. The dean's list ka, Jacob, last sem? First sem? Kano, sir? Ikatulong na, sir. Ang last semester, kaya wala pa may result. Oh, yeah. Bro, ang first sem, ang good, ang deadline sa grado is May, kuhan pa, May 30. Bro, wala pa, wala pa yung nagkuha ng dean's list for the first semester kay wala pa man nag-deadline sa grado karong pang kuan karong pang ni ang deadline sa grado sa first sem first sem ay karong kuan so second year pa ko first semester ah wala pa nag-covid wala pa nag-covid nang read sa mga sila sir nang read sa sila first sem second sem sa second year pa mi sir nag-post sa mga sila ang kuan registrar Ay, ang registrar lang pala na. Wala ka ka kapan? Kabasa ko ato ay. Kasi wala pa nila na. Wala pa nila na. Wala pa gano'n nahatag ang inyong certificate. Pero sa o nagyatagan mo ang certificate mo, dates list mo, di ba? Oo, yes sir. Pero, I do not know, sa may ilang mechanism na paghatag sa inyong certificate. Bawal pa man sulod diri. Katong Katong laser ko na gi pagpasar sa lang email. Ah, email ko. Kasi email lagi ako sa inyo. Gisan sa Gmail, sir. Ah, sa Gmail siguro. So this list go, pizza may this list diri. Yeah, ti. Dagan lagi this list niya. Ken, this list ko ka ken. Dagan di DM, sir. Ah, di list sir. Di list sir oi. Mao ba? Di mo ma-DL. Nabay-kwan. Na ay, yun si Tawa Gani. Na ay allowance ang DL, di ba? Na, sir. Sana all. Tayang ang 2-5. 2-5? As in? Ako, di gawin. May bandol ka mga. 
Ah, Sir, di bintis lagi. Mau, saya, saya, saya. Lagi. Aim gitu mo, mo. So, okay nata. See you tomorrow for another round of ano presentation. Then yes, tomorrow's topic is about global political economy. Chada gya pun yan. Chada gya pun gya topic. Okay. So Anneli, just inform ano. So open your camera. We will have an attendance. Okay, sir. May mga din yung report si Anneli. So, sa social science, bago ka Anneli nagstart or nagshift ka, shifty ka? Nagstart na ako sa social science, sir. So nandir taka sa intro. Yes, sir. Hmm, unsa kang section before? First section? M man, siguro may sir katong first year. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, camera. Nag-slim na lagi ka man doon. Walay kaon-kaon. Walay uso kaon niya sa inyo. Okay, one, two, three. Ah, may ni si Roji na. Okay, sige rin TikTok. Okay. Okay. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Sure. Bye, bye.